Stop mining for iron in these dangerous caves. Use my super simple starter iron farm instead. It not only will provide you with iron, but all the tools and food you'll ever need. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm going to show you how to do my quick starter iron farm slash tool farm slash armor farm slash food farm. We're going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to do it in survival mode. This farm is built in three stages. For stage one, you're going to need two stacks of Calvastone, 33 walls, nine slabs, 10 oak signs, three beds, three villagers, a zombie, a water bucket, and a lava bucket. And you're going to need at least three shovels, plus your stone pickaxe and your stone axe. Now to start your farm, you're going to want to find yourself a five by five villager house. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so once you found your house, you're gonna come in here and break this nice little stair here and come around to these other villager houses and pick up your beds. One bed here. Grab these tests. Oh, look, there's food in here and some emeralds. That should be good right there. And you also want to get your first bits of iron. So... Alrighty, perfect. All right, now we've got our first bits of iron. With these first bits of iron, you're going to want to, you're going to want to create a bucket and grab the water nearby. You take your beds and place them in here. Remove this torch and push, place it over top of the door. I'm gonna remove the door now, to get the cobblestone, you don't have to go mining for that. Each one of these houses will hold roughly 40 to 45 bits of cobblestone. Let's just tear down one of these houses. You can see that first house, we got 48 pieces of cobblestone, including the mossy. Okay, so it took one and a half picks for me to destroy one, two, three, four houses, and I've got more than enough cobblestone to build everything. So I'm going to go over here. First thing I'm going to do is make my walls, and we just need... 36 walls. So now the sun is starting to go down. We're going to break those stairs and place cobblestone along here, along the front here. I'm going to take these torches down also and place cobblestone along the top here. Pretty much we're making a nice little holding chamber. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to place down on one of the sides. You can place down a half slab here and then a half slab right there. So you can sneak through there. That will come very important once the sun goes down. You want to make sure that when the villagers come in here to go to sleep, you do not get a nitwit. Anything but a nitwit. There they are. We got three of them in there. We're going to block that off, break these two, and place in some temporary blocks right here. Now it's getting dark. We have our little zombie catchment area. So you're going to want to go out here, catch a zombie. This can be the hardest part of the whole farm. All right, that guy will pick it up. All right. Come on out, friend. Come on, guy. There we go. Now he's blocked in. Okay, sleep, 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 sleep. All right, now that we have our zombie trapped in here, we're going to block him off. Place two blocks there and a half slab on top. Come to this side over here. And we already have our half slab up there. So now we just put a block there. Break this bottom block. Grab it and block him off. He is now safe and secure in there. So let's run over to one of these houses over here and chop down some of the logs. Let's make our signs and our tent signs. Now we're going to need to, so let's hop up here with our temporary blocks and we are going to destroy this roof. When chopping down this roof, you want to save as much of the wood as you can because it'll come in useful later on. All right, once you have the roof removed, you're going to want to place down along the top here eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. And then come along this way and fill the whole thing in. Then in this corner, you place a temporary block 
and place down your walls all the way to the edge. So that's not right. Once you get your walls, your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sections of wall. You're gonna jump over here, put down a temporary block. Then you're gonna to want to put down a row of seven blocks along here. And you're gonna come up four blocks high, so that's another three. One, two, three. One, two, three, two, three, two, three. Three. Now when you're up here, place down your half slabs on top of here. Jump down, remove this temporary block. Get your list, last little bits of wall and push, put down four more bits of wall. One, two, three, four. Now you're ready for your signs. You're just going to place your signs right in the middle. Put down five signs there and then you're going to place down on this wall your five more signs. Take your water bucket, place it down in the corner. It should flow right to the edge, which it does. Use your water to get up onto the wall edge. You can come back here, pop down here. Go over here to a farm. And grab another piece of water. Head back up and make a infinite water all the way across this edge. So it should flow all the way to the corner. Perfect. And fall off the roof. Hopefully your village has a blacksmith or surface lava around or a ruined portal nearby. This one luckily has a ruined portal right here which we can use to grab this piece of lava and take note of the fact that there is a gold block right there. That'll come important later on. So once you hop up here, you're going to want to take your bucket of lava, find the center block above the signs and place down your lava. Perfect. We can't turn on the farm quite yet because we need to spawn proof everything around here because if not, a golem will spawn. So we're gonna need our three shovels. Now from here, we want to count out from this window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks out. And the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be this line right here. And all we have to do is Make it path blocks all the way around. Now for the front part, we're just going to count from the edge of this. This is where the original house was. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right to our crafting bench. Out here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that makes this inside of our spawnable area and the golem can spawn there, so we're just going to have to break this out. And there you go. Everything is path blocked up all the way around. Our farm is done, but we just got to do one more thing. We'll just pop right here. Open this up, and we're going to have to break these temporary blocks out, and that temporary block, and then place that back in. There we go. There's our new golem, but this guy's still wandering around, so we're going to go have to take care of him. And there is our first bit of iron. Yay! And that is the end of stage one. Stage two, we're going to need 12 chests, 11 hoppers, a composter, a little bit more cobblestone, which we already have, two levers, a minecart, some rails, and powered rails. Now, the powered rails are the hardest thing to come by. We're going to need gold and redstone. There's actually three ways to get redstone. You can actually mine it, you could kill a witch and hopefully it drops it, or you can find a cleric to trade with. Now, the gold ingots, of course, you could go mine it, but we're not we're not mining in this one. So if you took note of any ruined portals on the way in, now is your chance to go run and get that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our first iron pick. Yes. So now, what can we do with that iron pick? We can run over here. Uh, yoink this composter. And... Grab this gold block. Luckily for us, we had the 
ruin portal right next to our village. Come over here and grab our iron. It's just dropping on the floor. So in this configuration, the farm will only produce iron for three Minecraft days because the villagers need to have slept. If they haven't slept in three Minecraft days, then the farm will break. And right now, the zombie's just wandering around aimlessly. Oh, let's grab that iron. Now we're going to use our extra logs that we chopped earlier and just turn them into chests. Whoop, grab that iron, don't let it rot. We're gonna need 23 chests, 22, 23 chests all together. We can make up some hoppers. So we can make four hoppers right now. Now to get the redstone, you're going to want to find yourself a cleric. Hopefully your village has one. If not, you can run to another village or on your travels to this village. If you found a brewing stand, you could have picked it up with your stone pick. So we're gonna do that right now. We're just going to say, Put down that brewing stand here. All right, now we have a cleric and we can buy our redstone right there. Perfect. All right, we got more iron coming in so we can make another hopper and another hopper. We're up to six hoppers now. As you're waiting for your iron to fill up, we're just going to fill in these three blocks right here and grab our extra chests and place down two, and there you go. Once you have your chests in this configuration, you're going to shift and put your first hopper here. Then you're going to pillar up here and place a hopper going straight down into that one. Come to this side right here. Hop on up. Take your other hoppers and go bop, bop, bop. And bloop. There you go. Now you have your whole row of hoppers. You don't have to worry about your iron getting lost. Let's get some sticks on and build ourselves. First, some regular rails, get rid of that, turn those to that, and then some powered rails, get rid of that, and and then a minecart. Get all this junk here. Neat, now we've always, we're starting to collect this up here. Don't forget our two levers. There's our two levers. Now you're gonna want to do is put a lever here, and then go to the other side. Did I only make one lever? And come to this side and put down, ooh, we left that a spawnable area. We don't want that at all. One on your hop bar, you want your powered rail, your regular rail, your minecart. So you're gonna break this block and this block only and place down a powered rail here. It's by his feet, you don't see it. And then you're gonna have to place down a regular rail up on top. And then you're gonna try and place down a rail behind him. Make sure to make that non-spawnable. Go to the other side, break out just this block. Do the same thing, powered rail, non-powered rail. Regular rail there. Probably gonna to have to get to that middle. There you go, boom. Now you have rails all the way across and you can, you can try and place, ow. Excuse me, sir. All right, break that rail, fill that in. Take out these blocks, make sure you make them non-spawnable. Come back around to this side before he can see you. Break this rail and then place down your minecart. There you go, put down your minecart right like that and then close it up. Now when you flip this lever, it should have picked up the zombie in the mine. You can see him riding back and forth. Now this farm will run indefinitely. Get our iron. Now down here, we're going to Put down a chest here. We gotta make some more hoppers real quick. So we use six hoppers, so we need five more hoppers. And we can make three, which is fine. So we're gonna put, break that, place down a chest there, place down a hopper there, take our composter that we acquired earlier, place that down on top of there, with a hopper on top, and then a chest right there. Back here. We're gonna fill that in and fill that into here just to make this a two wide hole here. That's so it's a non-spawnable back there. And we're just waiting for iron to fill in these last two so we should have two more hoppers. This little setup right here is to get rid of the poppies. We could get rid of all this junk in our inventory. But it's to get rid of these poppies here and that will convert it to bone meal. Now above here, I like to place down a double chest for extra bone blocks, iron blocks, anything that I want to store extra that's not in the system itself. Now we can make our final popper, place that down there, and stage two is complete. This guy's impressed, aren't you? You should drop me a sub or walk away like that guy. Either way,
Stage three. So you're going to need a smithing table, a grindstone, a blast furnace. You're going to need a regular furnace to make these. And you're going to need one piece of wall, which you should have three left over. You need to make yourself an oak trap door, 13 more slabs, and three fence gates. Let's grab our crafting bench, place it right here, and take our one section of wall that we need, place it on top of there. Place our trap door on the bottom here so we can close it up. You can see what we're doing here. We're trying to get this villager, trying to get this villager to take a job. Get in the hole, villager. All right, well, I guess it's too late in the day for him to take that job. So what we're going to do over here, we're going to grab our slabs and underneath this window, we are going to place down one, two, three, four, five slabs, bottom slabs only. We do not want golems spawning on there. And then we can come here and place down another set of bottom slabs and it makes a nice little walkway up. Now above this window, we're going to break these three blocks. and then place down slabs up top. Now we're gonna break these, that glass, and then that one. So we can now walk in and talk to these guys, but nobody, they cannot escape. So we're gonna take our three fence gates just to protect them a little extra. We're gonna place down fence gate, fence gate, fence gate. Now uh, zombie babies can't get in there and attack them. We'll come back over here, build ourselves a furnace. Then we're going to smelt up. We only need to actually smelt up six pieces and just use those oak stairs as fuel. Now that you're just six stone, you're going to split that and burn those three again and come over here to our crafting table, make some stone slabs. Now you can make a grindstone. We're going to grab a little bit more iron, and then we are going to build ourselves a smithing table. So now we have our grindstone and our smithing table. All right, now we have our three smooth stones. We can break the furnace. Come over here and make ourselves a blast furnace. All right, before we do any work in there, that guy really wants to be a farmer, doesn't he? We're going to turn off the minecart. So he stops out, stops, and these guys chill out just a little bit. We're gonna open up, close that. Now we need three temporary blocks. One, two, three. They will chill out completely. And we're going to take out these three blocks down here. We're gonna put smithing table, grindstone, and blast furnace. Now we can remove our temporary blocks and they will assume their jobs. And now comes the long tedious task of unlocking these guys. We can buy a couple shovels. We don't need them anymore, but we're gonna start unlocking them. Is it because I have the, for some reason this hopper was blocking him. Okay, so now, hopefully he'll go around. We can get our blocks. We wanna get him into this hole. And let's just replace this hopper and, all right, wheat. We can get wheat. Luckily, there are hay bales everywhere, and we can lock this guy in as a farmer. All right, now that this guy's in here, we can block up this whole side, this whole side, just to make it look nice. And we can trade with this guy with and get a couple emeralds and unlock. This wall here is to make it so we can still pick up the XP, still open this, and he'll be protected from zombies. And we can close that up if we just makes us feel a little extra better. So now we can just buy a bunch of pumpkin pies from him. The good thing is we can, if we don't want to eat all these cookies or these pumpkin pies, we can just throw them back in here and compost them down. We should have unlocked him. There he goes. And now we get golden carrots. And there is our food source, but we're going to save these emeralds. Now we're going to head back to these guys over here. Let's see who we can get this guy. Throw the shovels. We don't care about shovels. We just want him to unlock. Now all these guys, their second trade should be an iron trade. And there you go. We've unlocked it. Iron trade. So let's go get some iron from the front. If you remember, this farm is off, but it's still producing iron. Our bald guy. Come on, bald guy. Boom, now he's unlocked. There you go, we could get a hoe. This guy, okay, so this guy, we can get some access, which is always good. All right, he should be unlocked, and he does iron also. Thank you. Now, the last guy is the hardest guy to unlock. It's Goggles, man. He is usually so expensive. Okay, so a lot of trading later. We are ready to unlock this guy. Come on, unlock. 
There we go. And alas, we have a problem. His next trade is not an iron trade. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to block this off, wait for night, and kill off this guy in his sleep. So once you've blocked it off and disposed of the poor guy, you want to throw in some carrots to them or potatoes or wheat and let them do their thing. Now that their new baby has been made, we just got to wait 20 minutes for them to for him to grow up and then trade with him to make sure he unlocks iron. This whole time the iron farm is not going to be running, so this can be a slow process. All right, now we got a goggles guy and we can unlock him and now he does iron. Awesome. There's the toolsmith. He gives us a diamond axe. A diamond shovel and a diamond pickaxe. Ooh, it's pretty good fortune. And he'll give us a diamond axe and a diamond sword. And now goggles. He's going to give us pants. Cover me with diamond. And he'll give us a full set of diamond armor. All enchanted. It's not the best in the world, but it'll work. Of course, it's going to take you a lot longer to unlock these guys completely. I just went into creative and gave myself a bunch of emeralds and iron just to do it real fast. Don't forget to turn it back on. There you go. That's my quick and simple iron farm slash diamond armor slash diamond tools slash diamond weapons and golden carrot farm. If you like this video, click that like button. And if you really, really liked it, consider clicking subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.